Monday. Today for your literacy video, we're going to be playing a game called Sugar Cubes. This is a game I play with my class at school and it's a word work game. So we'll do one together and then I will set to it for you to do at home. So come on over and let's take a look. You can play this game with a timer if you'd like to challenge yourself or without. For today's example, I'm going to do it without a timer. So I'm gonna roll my sugar cubes. And I'll write at the top of the board which letters we got. So we have Y, H, B, L, E, L, U, and T. Now what the challenge is, what we're going to try to do is make a sentence that makes sense. And we're going to try to use each of these letters at the start of the word. For every word that you use that uses one of these letters at the start, you get a point. Your sentence has to make sense and it has to start with a capital letter and punctuation at the end, like a full stop or an exclamation point. So just by looking at these letters, I'll get you to play along with me and try to come up with a sentence that uses as many of these letters as you can. So let's think. Big lying elephant eats hungry. Lizards yearly. Ooh, use quite tricky. Yearly until he turns ten. So the big lion elephant eats hungry lizards yearly until he turns 10. Although it's a bit of a silly sentence, it makes sense. And I would have scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points for this sentence. It's a really great game to play against other people to see how many points you can get for each round. So let's try another one. Sorry for all the loud noise of the birds. I think they wanted to get in and be YouTube famous. I'm going to roll the sugar cubes again for you, and these are the letters you're going to use to try to make your sentence. Okay, so we have G, N, H, S, F, M, C and N. So I'd like you to try to make a sentence. You can time yourself if you want, challenge other people in your house, and see how many points you can get for a sentence starting um, with words with each of those letters in it. And then I will do one more and see what you do with that. And this round we have M, F, a lot of the same letters, H, N, L, M, E, and R. So let me know how you get on with round one and round two. Make sure you send in your sentences to your teachers and we can tell you how many points you score and get creative with it. See if you can make a silly sentence that makes sense. Don't forget your capital letters though and your punctuation at the end. Bye, guys.